the Dutch test is a way of looking at not just the specific hormones we have, but the intermediaries both upstream and downstream of different hormones. So if your progesterone is low, as an example, is it low because we're not producing it? Is it low because we're detoxifying it or removing it? Is it low, like in the case of cortisol, is it, is it being used for other, uh, you know, functions or, you know, where body is kind of burning through it. So something like the Dutch test, I, I think is valuable, but again, like there, there was a lot of like piss and vinegar around the Dutch test early on. And then I've, I've seen some people say, well, you really need to be able to interpret it. But my sense is that it at least gives you a picture of like, do you have adequate inputs? Like is DHEA sulfate at an adequate level to, to begin that, that cascade into say like testosterone and estrogen and, and whatnot.